To, pre to uh, present the award to Paul, we're very honored tonight to have several families of Flight United 93 victims here, and I'd like to call each of them to the stage and mention their names. Uh, Ken Naki, his brother Louis Joey Naki, uh, was a passenger. Doris Grunland and Elsa Grunland Strong, uh, mother and sister of Linda Grunland, passenger. Charles and Jody Green, uh, son and daughter uh, of Donald Green, passenger. Ben and Sarah Wainio, uh, father and sister of Honor Elizabeth Wainio, passenger. Debbie Borza, uh, mother of Diora Bodley, passenger. Uh, Calvin Wilson, brother-in-law of Leroy Homer, the co-pilot. Uh, and uh, Gordy Felt, president of the families of Flight 93 and brother of Edward P. Felt, passenger. Paul Greengrass will forever be held in the highest esteem by the families of Flight 93. September 11, 2001 is a day that haunts our thoughts, our existence, and marks a point in time where not only our families, but the world was thrust into a new era. In this relatively new electronic age where images and ideas are broadcast instantaneously around the world, a question of propriety arose as to how, when, and in what format could and would the stories of September 11th be told? Would the storyteller be accused of exploiting the vulnerable for economic gain? And was the public ready to tear open fragile wounds and re-experience the nightmare that still haunts so many? Who could tell this story and do it justice? Paul's first interaction with our family was, was not to inform us that he had accepted the challenge of telling our loved ones stories. It was to ask us if it was too soon. Paul needed to know if we thought the time was right and if we would support this project, helping him depict our loved ones and their last minutes of life as true to form as possible. I will never forget sitting with my fellow family members at the Tribeca Film Festival, you know, the premiere of United 93, and wondering how it would be received. As the film ended and the sound faded away for a period of minutes, all one could hear was sobbing throughout the theater. No one moved. No one knew how to respond beyond this spontaneous demonstration of awe and grief. Through my own tears, I knew that our trust in Paul was well-founded. He was the right man at the right time to tell the story of our 40 heroes. Paul, you have an extraordinary ability to bring to life through the lens of a camera events that have deeply impacted so many. On behalf of the families of Flight 93 and our loved ones, whose memory you cared for so passionately, I'm honored to present to you uh, the 2014 America Abroad Media Award. 